Hey everyone, my name is Jim Cooney and I am a director and choreographer in the performing arts. And I guess we'll start right there with what are the performing arts? So that's any time you see some sort of performance happening, whether that's live in person or recorded or in a digital format. So any kind of performance, it could be acting, singing, dancing, playing an instrument, um, circus, um, TV, film, you know, anytime anyone is doing anything that they are performing, there's a lot of people involved other than just that one person performing. So you in the audience, you're seeing that person performing, but they have a costume on, there's lighting on them, there's a set behind them, there may be other uh, people performing with them, like actors and singers and dancers. Uh, the words that they're saying, that had to be written by someone. The music that they're singing had to be composed by someone. So there's a lot of stuff that happens before the performance actually takes place. And so that's the part that I work in when I'm directing and choreographing. And so we'll break down those words uh, as well. So the director is the person who kind of brings everything together. They're the glue. And that could mean that they start right away with um, the person who has the first idea, like the writer or the producer, and helps them flush out an idea or develop an idea. Or they could already be given, the director could be given the script already or the idea already, and then that director has to assemble the creative team, which would be the lighting designer, the set designer, the costume designer. They have to cast the show or cast the performance, whatever is taking place. And then they move into rehearsals and they have to get the show up on its feet or they have to produce that TV show or that movie. So. If you think about it, when you're doing a project in school, if you're doing a project with like five or six people, if all five or six of you worked independently, you would come up with totally different ideas of what the project should be. It's that collaboration when you come together that you all get on the same page and then you present a unified project to your teacher or to your classmates. So a director is doing basically the same thing. They're, they're helping everyone involved to get on the same page so that the world of the show or the world of the performance looks the same, right? So if someone was lighting the show very, you know, uh, commercially, very like fashion forward, but then the costume designer is doing something from the 1800s and the actor is using an acting style of the 1940s, it's just not going to work together. It's going to look really weird. So the director gets everyone on the same page and tells the story from the same viewpoint. Now, a choreographer, they're responsible for movement. So most times when you hear the word choreographer, you're thinking of dance. So that could mean like concert dance, it could mean backup dancers for a pop star like Beyonce, Lady Gaga, things of that nature. It could mean dancers in a music video, it could mean in a Broadway show, it could mean the Rockettes. So a lot of times it deals with dance, but choreography is really working with any kind of movement. So Fight sequences that you see in a movie, those have to be choreographed. Where are the punches gonna go? If they're using weapons, how how is that safely filmed so that the actors don't get hurt? That's all choreography. So there's also stunt choreography. If people are jumping off buildings or jumping off boats or having to run while they're lit on fire, that all needs to be choreographed. Again, for the camera to catch it all, but also for it to be safe uh, for the performers. And even in a play or a TV show where there's not dance per se, Maybe that character has some sort of unique way of moving. Maybe they're an animal or, or something of that nature. So the director will often need a choreographer to come in and help that actor find the movement for the role that they're playing. So me personally, I sometimes will just direct, I sometimes will just choreograph, or sometimes I'll do both. And you see a lot of people doing both directing and choreography because there is some overlap in the sense that the director needs to tell a story. So how does one scene transition to the next scene, whether that's a play or a movie or whatever it may be? Um, how, do, how do you take the audience from one part of the story, from the beginning of the story, to the end of the story, right? There's a visual movement that happens along with that. So sometimes a director and choreographer will be the same person so that it's a seamless transition from the concept of the show and the actual way that everything moves. Um, so I'm one of those kinds of people that will do both, even though, like I said, I could get um, hired for either thing. So I live in New York City. I mostly work on theater stuff, so plays and musicals, um, and I do a lot of live events, but I have also worked digitally with some TV and film things as well. And I like being nimble like that and working in various industries, but there are a lot of directors or choreographers that just focus in one. They just might do TV shows, or they might just do film, or they might just do plays 
or a choreographer could just do concert dance, which means, you know, just a dance company that you see on the stage. So there's a lot of variety in that, and you can live anywhere to do this. I live in New York City. Uh, that's a main cultural hub, and there's a lot of uh, performing arts that uh, happen there. But every city has performing arts, and even in towns, there's community theaters, the high schools and the middle schools need directors and choreographers for the school productions. Um, there's local commercials that are being shot. That they need directors and choreographers for those. So you can do this job anywhere. It just depends on what area of the industry you want to work on. Uh, something I love about it is that I get to travel all over the world because if I'm working on a show that takes place outside of New York City, they will fly me there. Uh, and so I get to work with people all over the world. I've gone to see so much of the world. I've been to every continent except for Antarctica. <laughs> There's not been much performing arts down there yet, um, but hope to hope to get there. Um, but that's that's one of the perks of it. And also it's very collaborative. When you are the director, you are working with every single department uh, that I mentioned, the set designer, costume designer, the composer, the writer, the producer, the actors, the understudies, everyone. So I love getting together with all these creative people and, and working together to bring a, a project to life, whether it's a show or an event or whatever that may be. So it's super rewarding for me. Uh, if you're trying to get into this, I would say start as early as you can. Um, you're not really gonna be directing and choreographing things when you're younger. You're gonna be learning how to do the actual thing that you are directing. So you might be learning how to act, how to sing, how to dance, how to play an instrument. You would be in the performing arts doing the performance. But then what you learn from that is once you know how an actor gets the tools they need to do their job or a singer what they need to do their job, now that you know that, that makes you an effective director or choreographer because you know how that person works. So one thing for myself, I was always in acting, singing, dancing classes when I was younger and I would put on shows, I, I put that in quotes because you know by today's standard that wouldn't be a show, but you know, I would put on performances for my family and for neighbors and my brother would do the lighting for me. I had a strobe light and I had different colored gels that I put in front of it to, you know, make it more exciting for people to watch. So looking back, I can see, oh yes, I was choreographing, I was directing, I was putting shows together. Even though I was studying, acting, singing and dancing, I was still creating these shows. Um, so that's how I knew that this was something I wanted to do. And when I first got to New York City, I just was focused on performing but I found that I was hired a lot as someone who would assist the choreographer. And so I would be leading the auditions for them. I would be uh, putting the replacements into the show. So if someone leaves the show after six months, um, whether they get married or they just go on to a different show or they want to take a vacation, um, new people have to come in to fill those those spots. So I would be teaching the new people there, um, you know, what, what they'd have to do for the show. So because I loved doing that so much, it was like, wow, I really like being on this side of things. I don't need to be on stage. I don't need all the applause. I really like helping bring the projects to life. So uh, in my younger 20s, I switched over to just doing directing and choreographing um, at that point, and, and I've been doing that ever since. And uh, I mainly, like my main passion is working on new musicals and new projects, things that are brand new, uh, but you can work on any different um, area of the industry, like I said. So if you like taking old shows and reviving them and bringing those back to life, that's totally great too. So um, do some research. You can explore all the different areas of the industry you could work in. Uh, but if you do love collaborating and you love being creative and you love bringing these stories to life, it's definitely a rewarding career. And so I would encourage you to check it out. Uh, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you have any questions, your teachers know how to get a hold of me and I'm happy to answer anything you may, uh, anything you may need. Take care. Bye-bye.